times, Brian. I've seen you get second after leading so many times, and now finally you get your first World of Outlaw win here in front of all these fans. How does that feel? I tell you what, it, uh, to win your first one is nothing like better than winning in front of 30,000 of your friends, is it? Yeah! yeah. No, it's uh, these guys, I think, take these outlaw wins for granted. We've tried a lot, and we ran, as Natalie knows, a lot of second place finishes, and um, I thought there I maybe gave that one away. I don't really know what I did wrong, but Darren got going there, and, um, you know, we kind of buckled back down, and I just said, you know what, I'm going to give it all it's got here. Either I'm going to put it in the fence or, or maybe try to win this, and we got a good run off, too, and crossed Darren over, and um, just want to thank everybody, Casey's General Store, FEP, Searsboro Impact, MC Power, Ditsfield Transfer Champion, the Will Smileys. Um, all of our great partners, Charlie Garrett, Engine with a Maxim Chassis, Surebuilt Shocks. Um, Chad Morgan has been with me from day one, and I'm sure he's wanted to cuss me quite a few times for giving these wins away, and uh, he's a huge part of our team and somebody that we couldn't do what we're doing without him. And Zach Thomas came on board this year, he does a great job, and my wife Heather, just uh, it's our anniversary, and we had Jack in the box tonight, I might, they might be getting a steak. <laughs> Brian, you lost the lead on lap 27 to Darren, and the caution came out. Underneath that caution, what was running through your mind that you knew you had to do when they dropped the green flag again? Um, the main thing I knew, I just had to get going on that restart and um, not spin my tires and try to get a good run on Darren. I just wasn't sure what he was going to do there. I didn't know where he was running, so I, I thought he may peel off to the bottom and give me the top, and he did that. And I probably hit. That's probably the best uh, top I hit in one and two of the whole race, and you know it made it work. And just want to thank all my all my friends, family, my mom, Greg, Dad, Cindy, Grandpa, Grandma at home. It's uh, Danny Lasowski back in the pits has, has been a huge instrumental part of my career, and uh, to have him pull up beside me and say congratulations was uh, something pretty special. And I know I'm rambling on here, but I've waited 13 years to get this, so. Uh, I can take an extra few minutes. Well, now that you finally got that first one, you think we're going to get a few more? I sure. If you want to do it, I'll do it. It's just, uh, again, um, I know you fans have a choice on what you guys want to do with your money, but to show you guys come out and support uh, dirt track racing in here, we sure appreciate it, and thank you guys for coming out and be safe on the way home. Congratulations to Brian Brown and his whole FVP number 21 on his first win. All right. Brian Brown, finally, he made it to a World Outlaws victory lane. Even get congratulations for third place finisher, Stevie Smith. Good run. Well, I got second. You, oh, I'm you, sorry. you must have missed the last couple laps there. <laughs> but, yeah. Hang up an elevator is what it's called. No, thank you very much. Uh, you know, it's it's been a pleasure. These guys have really done a really nice job, and it's it's been a lot of fun. And and uh, congratulations to Brownie, and he done a really good job. He earned this win. He's been He's been running fast all year, so... Uh, but we're, we're glad to get second. We would have loved to beat him on that last lap. I just, I just couldn't get it done. Well, you, you had a good run there, and you got a lot of people. It's got to, got to be a positive, uplifting thing to come here at the end of the year and run strong, get you something tuned up for the start of 2015. Oh yeah, absolutely. We've had a, like we said, we've had a really good year. So I'm going to be ready come 2015. Just hopefully, you know, a lot of things change over the winter, but hopefully we can keep it on track. And, uh, but it's going to be a great winter. It's been a great year, and. Uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. You want to say something to all these folks from the Keystone State? Yeah, uh, thanks for coming out because I think you dominated about half of this state. So go PA and uh, all the fans, man. It's, uh, it's a great turnout. I'm glad for Charlotte Speedway and the World of Outlaws and the track prep was awesome. I mean, you know, it was uh, three wide racing and I, I don't think they could have done a better racetrack. It's been awesome, and, and we're glad to have this event, and, and we'll try to come back next year. Look forward to seeing you. Good job. Second place. Give it up for Stevie Smith. I'm down here with tonight's third-place finisher, the actual third-place finisher, Darren Bittman. Darren, you drove really, really hard tonight. You moved around. You tried the bottom. You tried the middle. You tried everything you could. Slide job, I think, times 10 on every restart, and you just lost it right there at the end. Brian back, got back by you. I think I drive hard every night, but uh, yeah, it was a fun race, man. We were just right with him and, and really needed to get to traffic for, for my line, to, I think, to take over. He was definitely quicker than me on the top of one and two, and I felt like I could gain on him in three and four. And, you know, it worked out perfect. I, I stayed right with him, and we got the lap traffic, and, and he made just enough of a, you know, open the door enough that I could get by him, and then the yellow come out, and I thought, man, this could be the break we needed, but uh <laughs> Unfortunately, it ended up being the you know the end of us. Just made a mistake on that restart. I, I, I should have gone to the top. I mean, I knew it was faster up there, but just thought I could uh, you know run the line that I've been running 
you know, all night and, and uh, you know, hold him off and, and especially out in clean air. I really thought it'd make a big difference, but, you know, just, just wasn't enough. So congrats to Brian. Um, end of the day, this is a great weekend for this team and, and just got to thank Great Clips, uh, Curb Records, uh, Team ASC, uh, Sage Fruit, just all the sponsors with this KKR team. This is a, a great team to be part of and, uh, you know, like I said, it's just a, a great weekend that we would like to have won back to back, but uh, it's all, that's how it goes. I mean, this is a tough sport and these races are hard to win. So congrats to Brian and, and everybody. He's been really close for a long time. So uh, we'll take it and uh, go have a little fun tonight and uh, get ready for next year. Well, Darren Pittman finishing off the season, second place in points with the World of Atlas. Congratulations on a good season, Darren. All right. Thanks. Appreciate it.